Good morning guys, it is Friday the 12th. I haven't picked up my camera in a week, so I'm even lucky that it's charged. I need to go to uni to do one quick thing and then I need to go to the mall to pick up one thing quickly. Okay, so in and out, in and out of the house. I mean out and in, like I need to be quick, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and we can get on with this day in the life vlog, so let's go. Before we go, I want to show you guys a package that I got. I haven't opened it yet, it's still stapled. Okay, let me just remove them and show you guys one by one. Because I haven't actually seen what's inside. So this is from Siam Scent on Instagram. These are the first two. And then these are the second two items. <laughs> Try to hold it carefully. These are the second two items in the box. So let's open them up. Let's start with this one. <laughs> that was not cute. Okay, oh, this one is Terraromata. I am so glad. Let's smell it. I'm literally so glad because mine has finished. Oh, it's strong. Oh, yeah. I am burning this immediately. I come back home immediately. So, next one. Oh. Let's give it a spray test. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to explain what it smells like, but it smells nice. <laughs> Take my word for it. And then the next two, the last two that look alike. Let's see. Okay, these two. Oh my god. These two are Humra. I'm guessing. So I won't be able to use them now because I'm literally about to go out. But I can put some on my hand, but I just put the perfume, it's fine. Let's smell both of them and then I'll decide which one I like better. Let's see if it has a name. Okay, there's no name. This one is white and this one is brown. So let's smell the white. I love these like dropper bottle thingies. Let me let me pose for a thumbnail. Okay. Oh, this one is nice. It smells like the Isata one I have. Oh, this one is really nice. I really like that one. Let's see if this one can be. Oh my god, I can't tell. And I don't know where to rub it because I've already rubbed this one on my hand. Okay, like on my wrist. Put it here. I can't tell. I can't tell which one I like better. I think I like the white one better. I think I like the white one better, but this one's also nice. Okay, my taxi is here, so I'm just going to leave this stuff. And then when I come back home, I need to fix my house anyway, so let's go. Guys, look at how I stepped out. I forgot to wear my shoes. <laughs> Hi guys, I don't know if you can hear me properly, but I just prayed and I'm going to get something to eat. I've already bought, oh my god, it's so dark. I've already bought what I needed to buy, so now I'm just going to eat and head home. Guys, 
I am back home. It's 6 p.m. Um, I rested, I ate, so I thought let's talk skincare. Finally, I know you guys have been asking. So I'm going to give you guys product recommended. I wrote them down so I won't forget. And I have the products here as well, most of them. I have them here so I'm going to give you guys my recommendations and then at the end I'll just tell you what I do for a basic routine so let's get into it okay let's take this as a journey okay so the first thing breakouts so when you have breakouts this is what I use that really really helped me and this is what I recommend it's the CeraVe acne foaming cleanser and when I had like my first breakout patch here and here this was the only thing that helped me. I used so many like different products that I was seeing on YouTube and on TikTok and on Instagram But this was the only thing that like flattened them down I feel like every other thing made them worse because I was using stuff back to back, but this one you need to get this So this one cures the pimples It says Okay, so it says 4% benzoyl peroxide acne treatment. So the benzoyl peroxide is what kills the bacteria that forms acne or something along those lines. It says clears acne, pimples, blackheads, help prevent new acne and allows skin to heal. Maintains the skin barrier and leaves skin feeling comfortable with three essential ceramides, hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. CeraVe guys, my go-to. I don't use it anymore. I would only use it if I have like breakouts or if I have like a spot I really want to get rid of then I'll use it I don't know why I'm out of breath because I've literally only been talking for a minute and a half <laughs> but yeah that's what I use um you just wash your face like normal <laughs> with the cleanser and then I leave it on for about two minutes so like the products can work into my skin so I leave it on for two minutes and then I rinse it off the breakouts done after that is the healing process and these are the two products I would recommend this is the Ordinary Niacinamide and this is the Snail Mucin. The Acne Cleanser actually has Niacinamide but that one is like a wash up treatment so I don't think it's that um, active in the healing process. I think that's just for a different purpose. <laughs> so this 10% Niacinamide and 1% Zinc really helps. And then this Snail Mucin, guys, this gives you glowy skin. That's all you need to know. Just go and get it. This, guys. Guys, get this product, okay? It's Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence, okay? It's snail slime. Okay. It's, it's really slimy, but it works, guys. This makes your healing process so much faster. If I have a breakout, and like after I'm done washing my face, sometimes I'll just apply it on the spot, or sometimes I'll apply it on my whole face, because like I said, it makes your skin glow. But 10 out of 10 recommend that product. Um, it's by Cosrx, if I didn't mention, and this is what it looks like again. If you want to take a screenshot, So moving on you've cleared the pimples you're healing the breakouts the next step is to moisturize this is my go-to moisturizer it's CeraVe moisturizing cream there's the moisturizing lotion as well but oh wait it's not focusing it's the CeraVe moisturizing cream there's the lotion version as well but this one is thicker um, and I have dry skin there's like the pump version as well so you don't have to keep on putting your finger inside I have like uh, like a spatula thingy that I use sometimes but sometimes I honestly just put my finger inside I can't come and kill myself <laughs> but this is a really really good cream um, the ceramides are meant to help heal your skin barrier which is usually what happens when you have breakouts so recommend okay so next on the skincare journey you've healed your pimples your skin is healing and you're moisturizing your skin what are you left with hyperpigmentation okay let me show you guys what I've been using okay it's kojic acid it's from Jamila soaps it's just a bar soap I had to put it back in the packaging for you guys just so you can see and get the right one but just find them on Instagram or on TikTok they have their website links um, it's from England and international shipping took about like three days like it came to me so fast I was so shocked and I think it was like 
15, 15 to 20 pounds, I don't remember. So the writing has like scratched off a lot, but I'm going to try and read it for you guys. It says Kojic acid soap is used to treat hyperpigmentation. Um, it works by inhibiting triocinase. <laughs> if your skin suffers from uneven tone, blemishes, uneven knees, uneven neck and arms, stretch marks, pimples, melasma, and excessive permanent sunburn. <laughs> it's really hard to read guys, like the yellow parts are like gone. Okay, so it's basically mostly co um, mostly kojic acid and then there's a little bit of coconut oil inside as well. Guys, I need to turn on the AC because what's going on? One second. Okay, I'm back. Nobody sent me to wear this outfit. It's just for the aesthetic of the skincare portion of this video. I'm actually going to put a hair mask after. Anyways, as I was saying, kojic acid helps to heal your hyperpigmentation. And apparently, like on Amazon, if you just search kojic acid, that there's loads of brands that have like maybe a lower percentage of kojic acid and they sell it off as whatever they just get this one. Don't order on Amazon. Get this one. Because if something happens to you and you say I recommended kojic acid to you, hmm. Get this one, Jamila Soaps. None of these are sponsored, okay? Next, you've cleared your pimples, you've healed your skin, your skin is moisturized, and you've cleared your hyperpigmentation. What else do you need? Sunscreen, okay? This is the only one I can recommend to you guys. This is the only one that I found that is lightweight and it doesn't leave my skin feeling oily because all every other sunscreen I've tried, if I just wake up, shower, and put the sunscreen, it just feels like, my skin just feels oily and heavy and... I don't I even skip moisturizer and I just use sunscreen but even still but this one guys is very lightweight no white cast obviously I wore it today I don't reapply but if you wish to reapply go ahead it is SPF 50 plus PA 4 pluses I think that's the highest so it's the highest sunscreen protection basically I think anything more than 50 plus is redundant I'm not sure but it says anti wrinkle and moisturizing and this is a K beauty product and we trust K we trust K Beauty over here, okay? Those guys obviously know what they're doing. Look at their skin; they obviously know what they're doing. So, let's see what have I not touched? I think that's it for all the product recommendations I have for you guys. I really hope it helps. If you have any questions or I forgot to mention anything because I'm in such a rush to go and shower, just ask the questions in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, inshallah. And for my own routine, I just do a basic routine now. If I don't need to like treat anything, I still use the Koji. Oh, I forgot to mention by the way, don't use this every day. Just make sure you use um, sunscreen the next morning. Only use it at night and make sure you use sunscreen the next morning. I use it like once a week because I forget and I'm lazy. But ideally two or three times a week. Either once every other day or twice a week. I still use this in my routine. But apart from that, micellar water to remove any makeup or sunscreen so this is what i use for my double cleanse sometimes there is a cleansing balm but i left my cleansing balm at the resort guys at the island resort and it's gone it's a wrap <laughs> what am i going to do i can't ask them to ship it for me just because it's gone okay so i have micellar water which sometimes i even prefer i just use a cotton pad and clean it and then i use a face wash let me go and get my face wash because it's not here these are the only two products in my routine a cleanser and a moisturizer and then if I need to double cleanse I'll use micellar water before but this is all I need and this is all you most likely need as well but if you need to treat anything else go ahead and do that so the cleanser is Clinique all about clean liquid facial soap it's just a regular cleanser you can use anyone it's just that I like my stuff to match so I have this and this and then the cleansing balm that I use is also this brand so that's what I have in my bathroom counter but this one from Clinique is called moisture surge Guys, this I don't use this every day because sometimes I moisturize my face in my room, sometimes I do it in the bathroom. But I feel like when I do it in the bathroom, right, like I start sweating faster, if that makes sense. Because I just come out of the shower and I don't know, but I start sweating faster. So I leave this in my bathroom and then I leave the CeraVe in my room. So if I'm dressing up in my room, if I'm moisturizing in my room, I use the CeraVe. But this one, this particular one, like when I wear this at night and I wake up, my skin just looks better. I don't know how to explain it, but you know sometimes you wake up and your skin is glowing. That's what this one does, okay? It says 100 hour, I thought it was 7, okay. It says 100 hour auto replenishing hydrator. I think it has some form of hyaluronic acid inside, but it's really, really moisturizing and I like it because it's a gel texture. 
can you see it's almost liquid at this it's liquid at this point in fact it's a gel moisturizer so that's why i really like this one and it makes my skin glow i got it at duty free so i'm just oh my god <sighs> so i'm just going to hop in the shower put on a hair mask and wash my face and yeah okay very quickly just some extra tips i forgot to mention i don't wash my face in the morning so in the morning i only like use water i don't like use a cleanser on my face i feel it's just best to wash my face once a day which is at night and then moisturize afterwards so in the morning when i rinse my face with water when i come out of the shower i just use my sunscreen that's it okay and then what's the other tip i wanted to mention i don't remember <laughs> so Hey guys, I fell asleep at an um, uncalled for hour. I don't know why I did that, but it is 12.08 now and I'm obviously hungry so we are going to make dinner. I have written down a list of stuff to buy. I'm leaning towards making pasta because that's what I always want to cook. I haven't cooked in months, by the way, like a long time. <laughs> so I've made a list, so we'll just do something super simple so i don't have to spend time washing the dishes okay so chicken and rice and i have the rice and i have the chicken it's just all the other stuff i don't have <laughs> so let's go to the grocery store we are here at the grocery store i kind of know what i don't even need to pull out my list i know what we're getting <laughs> i just love that they already have the vegetables chopped and the uh, Onions and garlic, that's all we're getting. Okay guys, I'm back. The finish, the chicken has finished, finish, the chicken has finished defrosting so you can get started now. I bought a coconut. I normally get like the same like coconuts but they have to drill it like at the back of the store. But now they have one that has like a pump thing. I don't know how to figure it out but I'm about to. But I'm already thirsty. I'm so excited. This is like my favorite drink. Fresh coconut. The other one normally doesn't come with a wrap. Okay, so I'm guessing you just push it. Oh, wait, I need to set it properly. Oh! Okay, it worked. Yay! I'm so happy, my favorite drink. After Berry Blast. Mm. That's the stuff. Okay, I've just washed my hands, so let's get started. These are the ingredients. We're only going to use one pan for this recipe because like I said, I don't like washing dishes. Okay, so first I'm going to put all the spices in here and mix them so the coat can be even. I will leave the spices on the screen, so let's go. I'm not measuring by the way, I'm just going to wing it because <laughs> I'm hungry at this point, I can't be asked.
So I've washed the chicken thighs and I'm going to use half of the spice mix on the chicken and then I'm going to save the other half for later. If I had time, I would let this to marinate in the fridge for like 30 minutes, but there's no time for that tonight. It's literally 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of this peri peri sauce. And then I'm going to put butter in the pan and fry the chicken for three minutes on each side, not to cook it through, but just to get it brown before putting it back in the pot. Okay guys, our chicken is cooked on the outside but it's still raw on the inside. So to the same pan, I'm going to add, I picked out the tiniest tomatoes from this, and garlic to the same pan and then I'm going to wash the rice and add the rice inside. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. I'm going to cover it with some foil paper and cook it for like 25 minutes. Ooh, today drained me. <laughs> okay, it's cooking on a low heat. I'm going to clean up and then watch something while it cooks. Okay guys, our rice is cooked and our chicken is cooked as well. I just added some sliced lemon and a little bit more parsley on top and I can't wait to eat. I'm so hungry. It's two something. <laughs> I always get this cake because it reminds me of like the Amigo slices, <laughs> which I really like. Hey guys, it's 5 a.m. I'm ready to go to bed. If you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!